everyone, last time I left you like the central figure of this poster, staring into the middle distance, nervously hoping a boy-hungry predator won't strike from behind. So in this episode of 4 Minute Falcon, I hope to teach you the skills to make you more aware of your surroundings. This time we're covering MSPs and soy. Once airborne, the first things one should always do is start up the radar altimeter here and the fire control radar by pressing standby and CRM. For the uninitiated among you, MFD stands for multifunction display, or if like me you're a fan of Samuel L. Jackson, you can call it a motherfucking display. The MFD is surrounded by function buttons called OSBs, or on-screen buttons. They begin in the top left and travel clockwise around from OSB 1 to 20. The bottom OSBs are reserved for the various sensors and can be set up within a few seconds. To assign a page or sensor to an OSB, simply click on one of the three blank OSBs at the bottom, then pick a sensor or a page from the left or right. In this case, I've assigned the fire control radar to OSB 11. To assign the HSD to OSB 12, I simply click on OSB 12, then click on HSD on the right. When a sensor is selected, you will notice certain other OSBs becoming functional, in this case 19 and 20, to increase and decrease the range of the HSD. Remember that each circle on your HSD represents roughly a quarter of the distance your range is set to. You can have up to three sensors or pages assigned to an MFD at any particular time. To hammer the point home one final time, select a blank OSB at the bottom, then select a page or sensor on the left or right. In this case, I'm going to select the SMS or Stores page, which gives you a visual representation of what's loaded onto your aircraft. Within many of the sensor pages, OSB 5 acts as a control page. This gives you access to additional parameters and settings within each sensor. I'll reserve delving into these settings for a later tutorial. Both MFDs are set up in exactly the same manner, however, there are a few things one should be aware of. Firstly, a pager function can only be accessible from one MFD at a time. This means that if a pager sensor is listed below your left MFD and you select it with your right MFD, it will disappear from the list on the left. As a result, it's a good idea to plan what sensors and pages you need to use and separate them. For example, it may not be the best idea in the world to have the fire control radar and TGP on the same MFD. Furthermore, your aircraft has three distinct master modes. They are navigation, which is the default mode, air-to-air -air, and air-to-ground. Before we delve a little into modes, let's talk about sensor of interest or SOI. You may have noticed that one screen has a white border around it, while the other has a message saying not SOI appearing in grey. Your sensor of interest is selected using your four-way DMS hat. By momentarily tapping DMS down, I can switch between selecting the right or left MFD as SOI. If the aircraft's in air-to-air -air or air-to-ground mode and we tap DMS up, then the HUD is made soy. This is indicated by an asterisk in the top left corner. We can also cycle through MFD pages by momentarily tapping DMS left or right. The most important function of soy is the ability it gives to manipulate sensors without taking your hands off the HOTAS. In this example with the HSD as soy, I can manipulate the TDC cursor. Here we're using the slew control to operate the TGP. And here, with the master mode set to air to ground, I'm using the slew control to operate the fire control radar. Or here, in air to ground mode, with the HUD set as soy, I'm using the TDC to manipulate the cursor in the HUD. This rather neatly brings us on to master modes. The two master mode buttons are on the top right of your UFC. To enter a master mode, press the corresponding button. To return to nav mode, just press it again. If you have not done so before your flight, you will need to set up the MFDs for each master mode. It's worth remembering the master mode overrides the setting of each sensor, so if you switch to air to ground, the FCOR and the TGP will be in air to ground mode. In addition to setting up your MFDs during startup or in the air, you can actually set them up before your flight. Go to the mission start screen and stop the timer before everybody fucks off without you. Then bring your mouse down to the data cartridge icon located here, click on it. From there move across and select modes. From there you'll be able to select the master mode from the drop down on the right. The MFD is selected from the middle drop-down. And finally, you can select the pager sensor you wish to display and the order you wish to display them in. When finished, just save your data cartridge. I hope this has been useful. Remember to keep your eyes outside the cockpit and your head on a swivel. And if you encounter any celebrities, launch plenty of decoys. Apparently, 15 to 20 year olds work best. On that sacrificial note, I thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to dislike or tell me to go fuck myself below.